Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is a favorite face brushes video, all about my favorite face brushes, different brush sets, qualities, price points, and we're gonna jump right into it. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up, and we're gonna jump right into it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about makeup brushes. This has been highly requested for a while and I feel like I'm confident enough now to tell you exactly which brushes I highly, highly, highly recommend. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. My channel is all about beauty makeup content, so if I'm interested, you, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna start with a random brush that is the Dibs brush. So this one doesn't really have a name, but it's a dual-ended brush. You have a really, really fluffy end here, which I use as my all-over face powder brush. And then you have this nice, denser end, and these brushes are super, super soft. I've washed mine several times. It lasts really well. Really, really durable. It's a really good brush. So this end right here, it's more dense, really soft. I like to use this for cream blush. It is kind of like more dense and disperses it further because it is like a bigger brush surface area but i really really love this brush highly 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 recommend it this was also sent to me all right so next a more affordable brush set i have here a color pop let's see is this a little one i can find right now okay so color pop has this brush set at ulta it is 14 dollars um, blush brush, this is contour blush, and this is bronzer. And I want to say there's another one. I can't find it right now, but um, yeah, so this whole set I think is like $14. It is so, so, so good. This was my go-to contour brush for the longest time. I still use these, like they are so good. This is my bronzing brush, which I like to use to like bronze my neck. But ColourPop has some phenomenal brushes. I mean, these are like seven years old. And look how cute the rose gold handle, the nude wood. They're numbered. They're super, super good quality and really, really great. So this is just going to be face brushes. I'm going to do a totally separate video for my eye brushes because my eye brushes, whew, like I really got to sit down and go through all those. So next is another brush set, the Ariel Morphe brush set. I mean, you have to have this brush set. Like you have to have it. If you're going to invest in a really good, expensive brush set, have it be the Morphe Ariel brushes. They are so good. So this is one of my favorite go-to contour brushes. This is the Ariel A3.2, just the way it like hugs your cheekbone here. It blends out so nice. It's tapered, really, really great quality. Plus I just love how they're so easy to pack. So I have a brush, um, a brush roll that I pack my brushes in and I will just stick this. Actually, you know what? These brushes? came from a different kit. Yeah, okay, that's right, now they sell them separate. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll have everything linked below with those ColourPop ones. But anyway, so this one, it comes in my roller set and it just fits so nice into my travel kit. Um, but this is an all over face brush and it's just so good. Like the way they're tapered is just unbeatable, the quality, they're super aesthetic. And I just love the like padding powders in with this. It's such a good brush. My go-to cream contour brush is the Ariel A58. So I will stipple in on my forehead, on my cheekbone, some cream contour. It is dirty, you can kind of see there, but really good brush. And then of course the blush brush that comes in that kit, the A22. It's just so good to give you this like very like dusted blush look. I just love this. And honestly, I it took me a while to get used to using blush on a brush like this but it just gives you such a natural blush look. Love that. And then my under eye powder brush is the Ariel A14. Love this little guy. It gets into my creases very well. So good. And let's see, the foundation brush, the Ariel A24. Like the entire set is going to good use. Like you're gonna love it. And so I love this foundation brush, A24, I use this all the time. Super soft, washes, I wash these brushes like crazy and they're still very, very good quality. 
I've had mine for several years now. I'm trying to find... So the other ones in that set are the eyeshadow brushes, which again are going to be in a different video. And then BK Beauty sent me some brushes. I mean, BK Beauty is such a great quality. Really, really good brushes as well. I would say the Ariel ones are more affordable, but if you can splurge, definitely invest in these. These are the BK Beauty brushes. And this is the 101 foundation brush. Like this is so soft. It's so soft. Like it reminds me of like a cosmetics, which I don't own any of their brushes. And I really, really want to reach out to those next. But this is so soft and just the way it presses foundations on your face. It's just so good. Like, look at the shape of this. It's phenomenal. It's so good. Great, great quality, like, all the way. Wash this several times, and it's just such a good brush. Also, in that kit, I will have it linked below, but I got the BK Beauty 110. So I love this for contour. This is a little bit more precise than the Ariel one. And it really just, like, hugs your cheekbone. The way it's tapered, it's just the perfect small contour brush and then i have here the 113 this is one of my favorite cream blush brushes because you can just like pat it in like this you know it's just so good so soft and then like you can flip it and do like a different cream brush and cream blush if you want to like mix them up a little bit oh my god so soft amazing quality and oh my gosh i got dog hair on it now I love, 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 love BK Beauty brushes. I have more. I have more. So let's see, where is the other one? So like this one. This is a really good also. A This is the 109. I love this one too for cream blush. Really, really great. And this one too. This is the BK Beauty 111. It's like shaped like that, like a paddle painter's brush. It is so perfect for getting your bronzer in on your forehead, on your cheeks. So good. I love this brush. I use this brush like almost every single day. And then their blush brush, this is the 112. It is the perfect if you want to just like get, get really particular about where you're putting your blush. It's just so perfect to just get. Like sometimes I like to touch a little bit of like a different shade of blush right here on the apples and I can get it really good with this brush. So soft, so good. Like I'm telling you, if you have a BK Beauty set, you have a ColourPop set, you have an Ariel set, you're good to go. Best brushes ever. Um, I also love my BK Beauty concealer brush. So this is a really good concealer brush. I actually have one that I like more. And I'm mad because I can't find it right now. And I use it all the time, so it doesn't make sense how I can just walk, walk away. But one second, I'll find it. Okay. So I was like, there's no way this brush walked off. Okay, so this is the, the brand Bethy Beauty 11002. The perfect, perfect concealer brush. So mine's definitely used and loved and needs to be washed. But it hugs underneath your eye so well. It's so soft. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. There's this other brush set. I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but I just get really excited talking about brushes. And I think you can follow. I'm going to have everything linked below. But this is the Jessup Brush Set from Amazon. Super affordable. So this is the foundation brush, and I just love this shape. It's a good, good shape. And it can just pat, you know, pat and rub in your foundation. So nice. And in this set, I mean, I got a bunch of different brushes that also are super, super good, high quality. Like my go-to highlighting brushes in that set. I love this guy because he's like a little bit bigger. And you can just like really, it's tapered. Get your highlight really, really good. Forehead, chin. Love, love, love. So, yeah, I mean, I also really like this newer brush from Sephora. This is the 06 Multi-Use. This one's really, really good. Um, just like it's dense, fluffy, just really gets things buffed in really nice. There's another Sephora set. This one's dirty, but this is one of their Sephora sets. This is the, it doesn't say what kind of set. It was like a holiday set I got on sale. Really great quality. So if you want to get some super affordable brushes, I recommend ColourPop. 
Then after that, I recommend the Ariel Morphe brushes and then the BK Beauty if you can splurge. And then Sephora has amazing brushes as well. Also, It Cosmetics, I have never tried their brushes, but I felt them in store and I've always talked myself out of it because I'm like, I have a bunch of brushes, but those brushes I would love to try. They look amazing. So What's Up Beauty's eye brushes are amazing, but this is a highlighting brush I have by them. So What's Up Beauty is a small indie makeup brand. Their brush quality is amazing. They're cruelty free, made in Japan. This is like goat hair, I believe. I'll double check that, but it's supposed to be a highlighting brush. So soft. Love, like such great quality. Like these brushes remind me of like a true artiste brush. And I have a bunch of her eyeshadow brushes. Um, I use them like every single day. They're really good goat quality and everything. But like I said, I'll do eyeshadow brushes in the whole other video. And then I have these two foundation brushes. They're very similar. One is by Merit and one is by OG. These were sent to me. Um, the What's Up Beauty brushes were sent to me. This Dibs brush was sent to me and everything else I purchased. Oh wait, this Sephora brush was sent to me. So this OG foundation brush is so good. It's like the softest brush and there's something about they're dirty, like they need to be washed. But these brush like styles are so good and soft. They're actually my wife's favorite foundation brush style to use and definitely like this Merit one is just so they're so soft and they just blend in your foundation. It's nice to have like two of them so when one gets dirty and just use the other. But they are really great quality. Highly recommend getting a little brush like this. Also perfect size for traveling. So I think that kind of sums up face brushes. Um, I didn't want this to be a super long video because yeah, and I don't want to like look back and be like, wow, I wish I would have mentioned this brush or this brush, but Pretty much this from Amazon, this brush set's really good. The Ariel brush set's really good. ColourPop's brush set, really good. And BK Beauty brush sets are really, really good. And yeah, so if you get any of those brushes, you will love them. You will be super happy because they're such great quality, um, but also pretty affordable. So. That completes this video of my favorite face brushes. And then very soon I will have my favorite eyeshadow brushes. I feel like eyeshadow brush brushes are more picky because it does kind of matter by your eye shape. For instance, like I, like it does matter in your eye shape. Like you, when I do my friend's makeup and they have different eye shapes than me, I have to adjust my eyeshadow brushes. So I feel like they're kind of more particular when it comes to like, what is your favorite eyeshadow brush? So I'll have a more detailed video on that. But I feel like face brushes, like everybody kind of knows what to do with a contour brush. Everybody kind of knows what to do with a foundation brush. They can be more like universal. So that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video.